So today, I've had this entire gaming bundle that I bought on Amazon for a really cheap price. I'm pretty sure it was under $50. And for that price, you get a keyboard, a mouse, and a gaming headset. This is what I'm talking about. The Gaming Essentials Bundle from the almighty legendary Red Dragon. It was cheap and it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course it has RGB. 104 standard keys, 25 key rollover, 10 shortcut keys, 12 multimedia keys, five modes of RGB, okay? Pretty good stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this cable. It's not even braided. It's just straight thin plastic. I could cut these with my pair of kitty scissors. Let the RGB begin. It's pretty good, you know, instead of the red here, you've got RGB. And I think we've even got a peel. Keyboard's got whatever these are. I never click on these ever. And on this side, you've got multimedia keys. The buttons don't feel amazing, but they're not terrible either. Ooh, you can change the lighting speeds, brightness. That's zero brightness. That's ultra bright. Ultra bright for what the keyboard offers. It's very flashy looking. Is this one just blue? Ah! Ooh, windows lock. That's when you know it's gamer. You can't be banging on your windows key when you're going, I am gaming like a boss. It looks really scuffed already. Like there's some marks up here. There's some, what is that? And what is that? Ugh, gross. And why does every letter have a nice swoop underneath? It's, oh, it's not every letter. None of these have it. What are these for, gaming? It's ultra flexible. It's when you know it's a membrane. That's what you call speed. The thing I hate most about membrane keyboards is that you have to slam on every key or else it just doesn't respond as well. <laughs> this is a step up. There's membrane. That's like your run of the mill Dell yeah. keyboard that you got for free. And then there's a step up. And I think that's what this is. Gaming keyboard where it has more of those gaming features. And then there's another step up, and that's when you're paying like $70 nice. for a membrane keyboard by Corsair. Spacebar sounds pretty dang good. There's still some terrible shaky noises on the stabilizers. I would say the worst keys are left shift and right enter. I've got several different materials that I want to play with. I've got a big bag of polyfill. Makes keyboards go thock, maybe? Acoustic foam that I put on the walls. A thick piece of foam. A thin piece. You can see through it. And then who knows where I got these pieces. The first step involves taking off keycaps. Regular old membrane sliders. This is reassuring. That means I could stick things into it. No problem. At least taking off membrane keycaps is extremely easy. Now we get to find out what kind of stabilizers it has. All they give you is a stabilizer bar. This one's a long one. Ooh, this one's got like nasty grease in it. Ooh. Space bar has two springs underneath. I might put them back. Maybe I'll even lube them. Oh, what is, that? what is this? The plus and the ender actually don't even have the stabilizer wire and they have these little two circle things instead. And I think it sounded better. What is this? Oh, the, the screw does nothing. Just sitting there. Okay, if I take these off, I hope they don't fall. They're glued to the PCB. That's sort of helpful. You got your membrane layer. And then you have, I'm assuming this is the RGB layer. But let me unplug that first and then flip it over and then unscrew these. All right, that's not bad. What I can do is tape. If I flip this over, put a bunch of tape on the back and then poke out these holes. I'll be good. For some reason, I think I'm like destroying whatever this is. These holes are a little scary. Tape mod complete. Every keyboard mod needs a singular item and that is lube. Lube of every kind. Where does this go? Oh, 
That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen either. Ugh. Okay, this, this is fine. This is fine, everything's fine. There we go, I think that's right. And then this goes right here. That's not, that's not right. This screw's not even going in. At least this isn't a speed run. It's not a speed modding competition. I get to take my time. So this side goes in here. And I think this is it. I hope that doesn't need to be touching anything. That seems important. I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. Okay, it's got RGB. It does not press. All it has is RGB. Nope, definitely something wrong. It's not smoking. No, nothing is smoking. I think it's because this this piece fell out. But I think I could just like slide it back in like that. Why don't you work? Check the back plate. There is no back plate. <laughs> Maybe it's like this instead. Why don't you work? Well, I think I bricked it. At least the RGB looks nice. How do you brick a membrane keyboard? It's still moddable. Could still sound beautiful. Even if it doesn't type. Now I need lube. Sketchy AliExpress lube. It's good stuff. I'll do one that's very light. That one's the light one. And this one's the heavily lubed one. Guess it doesn't make a huge difference. But more is more. I haven't used a membrane keyboard personally in a really, really long time, I think. I think my first computer was like an E-Machines or a Compact. One of the two. I don't exactly remember. You've never heard of those computers? Those are like the OGs. Instead of you just having internet, you would get these CDs that give you 30 minutes of free internet. Uh, the days were weird back then. Things were, things were strange. All right, Polyfill, let's go. If I had a Manscaped ad, this would be what it would be. Just a keyboard, and it's got a bunch of Polyfill spilling out over all the ends. And that's when the ad comes in and it's like, Manscaped. Something like that. <laughs> Polyfill, not a good decision. Number nine. Number nine gets acoustic foam. Should be the easiest to work with. So much easier than polyfill. Honestly, I don't care if polyfill sounds better. The time that it takes to put in one keycap of polyfill is an insanely large time investment. Not worth. Number nine sounds better anyways. Okay, the cats are being like crazy cute. <laughs> They're both at the top. <laughs> Monday was so tiring. We have our improv class and it's really late at night. It's really fun. The first week was sort of nerve wracking. We played a game. It was like you do a motion, but then you try and think of all the different other things that that motion could be. Cut these like how I cut onions. You cut onions with scissors? No, I cut it with a knife. I will show you what I mean. You do this. And don't get to the end. And then while they're all stuck together, then you can cut it the other way. I've got a dog story, but it's sort of a weird dog story. Just a normal day. For some reason, I had to take Gage on a walk by myself. I got on the road and I realized I don't have dog poop bags. What do I do? Should I turn around? Should I keep going? Part of me was like, okay, there's the off chance that I could have something in the trunk that could potentially pick up dog poop. So I had hope. Maybe today he wouldn't poop. So I opened my trunk and I saw no bags. They were just really thick pieces of paper. So I grabbed a few pieces of paper, folded them up and put it in my pocket. You know, just hoping that he wouldn't go poo today. So we proceeded on our merry walk. Everything was fine. Went around the block, went around another block, and then he did it. He crouched down, you know, doing the little dog rounded back thingy and and started proceeding to do his business. And right at the moment that I reached in my pocket to grab out my piece of paper, like I had it in my hand, just, just like this, and it unfolded itself. The police officer comes by, looks me in the eye, waves, and I wave back and thinking, I really hope this isn't how he's like, 
thinks Asian people are. Because it was really weird, you know? And I feel like that's the kind of thing you think that some Asian people would do, maybe, you know? I proceeded to pick up the poo with the pieces of paper and I folded it up so it... None of the crevices could possibly leak out. CVS receipts are clutch. No. CVS receipts are, are worse than pieces of paper. All right. Let's turn it around, screw it up. Oh, this was what it was missing. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, nope, I can't. I'm closing it. All right, perfect. Not bad. It's, qu it's quiet. Just needs a little bit of cleaning, and they're fighting. So I am off. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>